Hi folks, John with the Wingman 115 channel. Thanks for checking in. The folks at Prepared One were nice enough to send me an item to test out today. It is the Best Glide ASE Military Scout Pocket Survival Kit. Let's take it over to a stump. I'll show you the contents and then we'll see if we can use some of these items in this kit and some practical applications out here. Come along. Let's pop this bad boy open and let's see what the contents are. My first impression just of the packaging, I like how they used like electrical tape to seal that tin to keep water and debris out. First thing I'm gonna do is peel that off and then I'll try to save the tape for later use. Let me stick that over here on my tripod. That way I don't get dirt on it. Now, the lid has a nice foam top to it. Have a plane flying over making noise. I'm sorry about that. Comes with a basic survival tips card. And my advice would be I would get familiar with this kit before you go out in the woods and you actually need it. Uh, first thing that we have, a ranger band. Tons of uses for a ranger band. Has a saw. I will cut away later on and I will cut some wood with a saw. Now we're not going to fell trees with it, but we'll cut some limbs and whatnot. Has some snare wire also has what looks to be a ferro rod and a striker i'm not going to test that out today due to all the fires that we've had here in socal just wouldn't be responsible here's some fire starters some cordage Here's those little packets that they use to keep the container dry. Here is a fishing kit. And inside, let's see if it'll zoom in on it. There's some lures, there's some uh, lead shot, there's some fish, fishing line, and some hooks. Here's a sewing kit with a ton of thread and it looks to be pretty beefy thread too a bunch of uh, safety pins some sewing needles some push pins a button everything that you would need to do to fix your clothes some zip ties we could talk all day about the uses of zip ties Six water purification tablets. Here is some strips to close a cut, kind of like the Steri strips. Storm matches and strikers. They look to be pretty good storm matches because they go almost halfway down the match. I like the packaging too on that. Set that up here. A pencil. A, what seems to be like a razor knife. We'll test that out here in just a little bit. A Ziploc bag. I would gather for collecting water and maybe putting in the water purification tablets. A whistle. A liquid filled compass. A little button compass. Two candles, a signal mirror. What's cool about these is anything that will reflect like that 
has been known to be able to be seen up to four miles away. Uh, it looks like it has some sort of protective covering on there and just pop out the little pre-punched hole in the center. And it's flexible too, you can put that in your wallet. A magnifying glass. So help you start a fire on a sunny day or if you're like me and you need reading glasses and heaven forbid they broke, you could still see. And some band-aids. And a nice metal container that looks to be a little bit bigger than an Altoids 10. So, my first impression of this is that there's a lot of stuff here that would help smooth any situation that you might be in. But with any kit, you need to get out and practice with your stuff, learn some sewing skills, how to mend clothes or fix gear, how to fish, obviously, maybe with another Ziploc bag, how to purify some water and test that with your uh, water purification tablets. Use your fire starters, see if they're going to work. At least use one, see if it's going to work. Zip ties, obviously, your fire starter. Practice with your snare wire, making snares. You don't want to learn when you get out in the bush. Just a lot of good stuff here. I'll cut away and we'll practice with the saw and the knife and we'll see how they'll do. Let's test this blade out. It's a razor blade attached to some sort of plastic polymer handle. Now we got to keep things in perspective. You're not going to use this as a regular knife. I'm just cutting a little bit of wood just to illustrate some of the basic stuff you could do with it. But you should have a blade on you. In the event that you would lose your blade, I would be very careful using this. Basically, probably for medical reasons or for fixing your clothes or maybe uh, preparing food. You could use this to gut game with it that you caught. It would real easily do that. If you go too hard, you're going to break the razor blade, but if you need to make some tinder to start that fire, get it going, you could obviously use this. Just a quick test of this saw. So it'll cut it. Anything bigger, I would probably put some toggles in there so it doesn't tear up your fingers. But yeah, it definitely works. Now for my final thoughts and a rating on this Military Survival Scout 10. Now, no kit is going to be 100% bomb proof. I understand that. The folks at Best Glide did a great job sourcing materials for this kit. If you and I had to go out and find all the pieces to put in this kit, it would take a lot of time, money, and effort to do that. So, great job there. The saw works. It's not, quote, chainsaw material. We need to be realistic. But it does work. I would use wooden toggles because your fingers are going to kill you. The little razor blade knife I would only use for skinning and har harvesting, gutting out game because you're going to break that razor blade. It's not designed to be, quote, your primary cutting tool. That's why you need some sort of fixed blade knife on you. With that said, on a scale of 1 to 5, I would give this 4.5 on the channel. It does a great job, and there's a lot of good quality items in that kit. Ken over at Prepare One has them on his website. You can go to www.helpprepare.me. I'll have a link below in the description. As always, folks, this is John. I thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Folks, if you like the content, please subscribe, like, and share. And for the latest channel updates, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Google+, and Twitter. Folks, thanks for checking in. Until the next video, take care. We'll see you.